Hey, it's the lock picking magician here, and we've got another lock to take a look at today. Today we have this tubular lock here. I uh, ordered this from Amazon. They call it the FJM Security SX796KA hardened steel disc padlock with tubular keyway and chrome finish. Uh, it is a tubular lock, comes with two keys, key to like, this one here has a rubber outer casing. It says stainless steel. I have no idea where it's made. I'm guessing probably made in China. Honestly, I bought it because I wanted to try out this. I got this new set of tubular lock picks. Got this set here. It comes with three picks. And you've probably seen other lock sport pickers online using these so I got this set and I realized I don't even have a single tubular lock so went online and I found this one it was around 12 bucks but right now they're listing the same one without the rubber coating for three dollars and seventy let's that say seventy Three dollars and twenty-eight cents plus six seventy-five shipping. So, I mean, not bad for a practice lock. Anyway, this pick here—it's uh, pretty basic idea. It's got these little little pins that slide up and down, and this rubber, these rubber bands hold it in place, and then it has a uh, magnetic ring that you can push them down but this is what this really is it's not a pick it's a uh, what's called an impressioner the idea is that you can get an impression of the height of each of these pins by pressing it into the lock and taking it out and then making a key but you can also sometimes use these to actually get some tension and turn it and open the lock so anyway let's take a Let's give this a try. So it's definitely locked. And we put that in with the arrow on the top. It's going to have to... That's not going in right. There we go. And then just kind of press in a couple times. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Now I can also close it. And just like the key. Alright, let's close it up and remove that and now you can see if we can get that to focus there we go if you look at the uh, pins at the top there you can see how they moved up so I don't know if you can see that but you see that one there has moved up so if I look at the key I should be able to match it pretty good now yeah you see it's a pretty deep well fairly deep uh, bidding right there and the bidding here now shows that impression so I suppose you could use this if you had a, uh, a key cutter or wanted to make one by hand but but uh, for the sake of this this is a, uh, a method to pick a tubular lock quite easily and the set comes with Three different sizes. I don't know the exact diameters on them. I just started comparing the end to the key until I found one that felt, felt right and then I uh, had to kind of force this in and then it just popped right in. Pretty cool. Alright. Well thanks for watching.